Greetings and welcome back to Foundation. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are finished with our monastery, happily enough. Um, we have a few monks here, but we need one more to be a beekeeper. So we have immigration turned on, and hopefully... Oh, we do have some females that are unemployed. Maybe what we should do is find a male, for example, this farmer, uh, and take him off of farming. Let's see. I think we just take him off. Uh, and we'll just choose one of these females to be a farmer instead. She'll go right to the workplace. And I think we can just say, uh, where is it at the top? Concede a villager to the monastery. There we go. And that will easily balance everyone off. And our, I guess the next thing to do is build the keep, which we've had at the top of our list for quite a long time now. Uh, but we haven't actually done that because we've been so distracted uh, with doing other things. <laughs> there is much distraction in this game, and I have to say I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if there's much to do after this, but we'll have to see. Um, but for now, we have two herb gardens here functioning and two um, apiary huts, two beekeeping huts. Um, if we need more, uh, a few people mentioned that I might put them outside. That's a great idea um, because the rest of the, the cloisters are so expensive to uh, pay and maintenance costs 91 butter every single day uh, so that's seven times 91 per week when we look in our budget here so that's quite a lot of money um, we are making quite a lot of money also though from selling the herbs and the other things I think we can authorize the housing upgrades so that more people buy these products um, but let's go ahead and build the keep for now. Um, I want to get that sorted out. Hopefully we can get this done. And I don't know if this is going to give us any kind of other options, but we'll check it out. So let us build the wooden keep. Let's see. Minimum of two parts. Okay. So we have a core here, right? We could do it maybe like, where's the door on the core? There's the door. Let's have the door be near-ish that side where the bridge is coming over and we can maybe raise it up a little bit uh, maybe 10 there wooden top a okay there's that top b is like this b is a bit decorative nice i kind of like b let's go with b okay looking good lots of houses are upgrading i think a lot of people are going to be unhappy though because we don't have enough clothing and stuff for them to to do uh, to, to wear and other things like this. But let's look at our door options here. We have this kind of door, which is kind of okay. B, oopsie, no, no, door B is this kind of door. Okay, so that's got a covered walkway. And then this one is just straight out like that. I kind of like the ones to the sides. Let's go with door B. Um, let's see, we can have a wooden gate and a decorative flag. Um, okay. Is there anywhere to attach this flag to the top? Oh, yes. There we go. Attach the flag to the top. Do we need to be... Let's see. Can I grab this? Turn it round so we can turn it the way the windmills are blowing. So it's that way to the right. Okay. That away. There we go. Should be accurate on these things. Won't work as well if we're not accurate. Oh, well then. Okay, we <laughs> even if we turn it, it's not going to stay turned, apparently. Hello? Game, what you do? Why you do? Hello? Just let us put this on. Thank you. No. Let's try that again. Let's just click it again. Yeah, so anyway, no matter which way I turned it, it's going to just face its own way on the top there. So, that's just fine. I mean, I guess we could move the entire building... Yeah, we could do this. That's fine. Let's put it this way. And I think that's fun. Fine. Fun, fun, fun. Could be fine and fun. Uh, and I guess that's it. Okay. Provides a defense to the village. We have um, plus 440 swords. Uh, what do we need? We need 15 to get the hunter's hut and the big wooden keep. Oh, dear. So, all right, let's <laughs> try to make for 15. Do these add anything? Let's see. The flags do. Training dummies, no. Gate does, door does, but more of it is going to be the core. But the funky thing is, it's like you can only build 
Well, you can build as many cores as you want, I suppose. Look at this. Top A has better influence. Oh, but they have different maintenance costs as well. All right. Let's just add this one here. We're looking for, what was it, 10 or 15? 15, right. All right. Oh, that one can have a, uh, a door as well. Door A, maybe. Okay, that has influence without costing money to keep up, which is good. Again, we'll go with top A for this one. These all have the same influence. Let's go with door C on this guy. Just kind of have this ramshackle set of buildings here. I guess we could turn this maybe this way so that people can go up the ramps um, better. Okay, we're at 13. Again, 15. We need 15. Ugh. Okay, we need um, do another core. This is so weird doing all these core buildings here. That would do it. Okay, let's just add a cheap top to this. Whoopsies. Come on, thing. There you go. Door A is fine. Cheap top. Door uh, C, just to, not so expensive. Wow, the maintenance cost is at 42. Oh, dear. How much is that going to cost us per week? Let's see. Okay, so if it's 42 butter a day times 7, that's 294 per week. I think we can float that. I don't think that that's going to be a very difficult thing, especially we're getting... This is how much profit we're getting per week uh, as of last uh, budget period. So I think we'll go with this. Wow. All right, let's do it. Let's just start the construction. We're going to need a lot of planks here, but I think we can afford it. Let's just start this and then we're going to stop the housing upgrades for now. And here we go. All right, let's go and see what we can do. All right, peeps, how's it going? These um, farmers, okay, they're doing stuff. Okay, great, great, great. Somebody mentioned that I don't have berries stored anywhere and I thought that's kind of interesting let's look and see okay no berries there no berries over there we do want a place to store berries definitely uh no berries there can't believe we have 50 glass in here that's like wild um I want to also take that down trade no go away Trading, gloss, no trade. There we go. And that way we can just finish that off. All right, where is another? Here we go. Here's another one. Not that one. No berries there. Well, golly gee, I think when we switched stuff over, we don't have any berries anymore. So that's not ideal. We definitely want to have a place to store berries. So we have several berry huts. We've got one here. Or berry collection places. One here and the most are over here. So if we had berries over here, it would be better. Um, man, there's no fish. Fish could go elsewhere. I think we'll do, instead of fish here, we'll do berries here. And then over here, we might do fish. Because we do have an empty slot over here. We've got several empty slots. Let's have fish here. Okay, and I think that will be easier to, to keep stuff going um, and get, keep stuff stored. Uh, and also there was a mention of not having enough people at the gathering huts. Let's just check these things out. Aha! There they are. Look at this. Sign available villagers. Yes, please. We need to get these people in here. Why not? Okay, the rest are done. Excellent. Now then, are people doing stuff over here? Yes, they are. Wow, the builders are already going to town. Look at this. Wow, cool. Looking good. Looking very cool indeed. Okay, we still don't have enough stone for that darn bridge. Did we stockpile that or did we just leave it? I can't remember what we did. Okay, no, we're not stockpiling stone. It's just going along. But yeah, I think we're going to need more of stuff to just feed the villagers. But we are seeing some housing improvements over here. This is great. This is very good. Okay. How's this doing? 
Yep, here we go. Just increase the speed a little bit. This is very interesting. <laughs> this floating thing is just really weird. I, I think um, hopefully <laughs> it does will improve this at some point, I hope. But anyway, yep, we got um, this path going through. I'm tempted to cut a path here through here with um, the uh, chopping area, but we'll see few things going on. All right, that field is now producing again. I'm happy to see that. I thought, oh, it's just empty all the time, but it looks okay. How much do we have in terms of other stuff like herbs? Now, this is interesting. It doesn't show herbs anywhere on here. The herbs or the hunt. Oh, no, there, there they are. Whoa, we have lots of honey and not as many herbs. Okay, so I'm wondering if we need more herbs uh, for this stuff. Uh, how many people do we have needing, I mean, needing to have uh, jobs here? Let's look at unemployed people, their job name. There we are. We only have one unemployed person. Really? I don't believe you, game. I really don't believe you. We had two people just come in. Where did they? Oh, you know what? I bet I had them all gathering berries. That's where they went. Okay. So I, I do believe you. Sorry, game. I'm sorry I doubted your, your veracity there. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All uh, right. Let me look at the ingredients list again. Ingredients list. Uh, how much we got stuffs. Uh-huh. Do we need anybody else employed at these fishing huts? Yes, we do. Definitely can use more people at the fish huts. Fisherman's assigned. Excellent. What have we got over here? I know I made a couple new fishing huts. There we go. They have people, which is great. All right. We're getting more stuff going on in here. We have a little bit of wool stockpiled. One cloth. Um, yeah, no bread. <clears throat> bread looks like it's going to be a problem. I think we probably need to add another farm here somewhere. Kind of wondering where that might be, actually. It could be over here, maybe. Kind of, um... Because if we reserve this area for the monastery, then I guess we have this area, perhaps. This might be actually a really good area for another farm. If we want to do that. I don't remember how many we decided here. I think we said... These are weaving things. Okay, so we have two windmills per two pa bakeries and one farm, I think, is how we were doing this. Okay, let me just look for any excess products here. Doesn't look like we have any. I think, I think, yeah, we just have very, very little. Okay, the house got finished. Good. Happy days are here again. Got lots of berries that we can sell. How's this thing going on? Doing well? All right, we just need one more plank, looks like it. And uh, otherwise, they're done. Okay, two new villagers are joining our village. Very nice. Oh, there they come. Look at this. Oh, how nice. I never really... I guess I never clicked on that, that icon there. Okay, apparently you can see them. Nice. This is great. Okay. Here we go. All right, here we go. We have butter, lots of butter. Um, really want them to finish this thing before I start anything new. Come on, guys. Oh, mail, 376. Let's go, follow you. I guess I should have just put the wooden bridge closer, but I didn't want to waste the, the wood. There we go. He's working. It's going to be fine. Oh, it's a little red flag. How cute. Oh, I should have put flags on the other tops. Shoot. Um, I think they have a bonus. Mm-hmm. Aha. There we go. Splendor of our village. Unlocked a new tier of unlockables. The kingdom has noticed your keep and might call upon you in a military campaign. I shall think about training soldiers then. Yes, I shall. All right. 
Right. We can assign soldiers here. Provides defense to the village. We also have... Don't we have soldiers over here as well? Yes, we do. I'm just wondering if I should cancel these guys. Like these three. One, two, three. Yeah, go away. Because I don't really want to waste my resources over there. Yeah, let's assign um, one, two, two soldiers. And now we have extra building materials, which is great. We can unlock the hunter's hut. And then we need to unlock the wooden keep big tower. Coming soon. So we can't even get that. The weaponsmith doesn't say coming soon. So I guess if we get 40 splendor... <clears throat> that's a lot of splendor to get with paying this much for it. I guess I could add little flags on everything. Um, let's see. We'll do flags. Wooden flags. Or decorative flags, not wooden flags. Well, this is fun. They all face different directions. <laughs> this is so silly. I really wish you could turn these flags. They look quite silly as they are. Uh, yeah, you cannot turn them. I'm trying to move them, but they will not. Oh, so you can move them elsewhere. But once you stick them on the... Hold on. Let's try this again. Decorative flag. Turn it this way, right? As soon as you shove it on the thing, it... it no, nope, and it won't move. All right, it's fine. I'll just leave it. Um, yeah, training dummies. I guess I could add one or two. They don't really do much. Um, let's add a couple. There we go. Oh, um, I also meant to say that, um, a couple of people were, um, wondering about when I was doing the monastery and they said, oh, you know, all you gotta do is delete that apiary that was blocking this piece, uh, of the cloister. Well, it's not that easy. When the building is in construction mode, you cannot do anything. Like, for example, like if you click this guy, if you click this building, it's in construction mode now. You can delete the entire structure, but you cannot delete individual pieces until the... Well, and you even, even when the whole structure is done, you cannot delete individual uh, areas. You can only add to the structure. So anyway, that's, uh, that's one of the things that I think a lot of people maybe got confused on with the game, how the, just how the game works. So anyway, um, right. We were going to build a farm. I think that would be pretty well done over here. Uh, let's build a farm. We really need some stuff. Let's get a all the farming stuff. Farm, 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 farm. Wheat farm. Wow, okay. This is, I think it's the longer one is the door. We're going to clear out a lot of this stuff in the back here. I want to go for an extraction zone here. There we go. And we're going to call this farm fields as well. There we go. I don't know quite how much is needed for farm fields, but we'll have to see. Uh, right. Then we need... Need to build two windmills and a couple of bakeries as well. But I think we're just going to do the bakeries out here. This bakery will be here. Okay, and then a second one there. And I want the windmills kind of behind here. Though they would look beautiful up near the grass. But that's okay. We're going to just be gonna be okay with this here. We're well, just gonna put this here and then one here. Okay, and that should be good. All right, uh, how many villagers do we have now? Let's see. We've got two unemployed people with two more coming, I assume. All right, take that off. Uh, we, could, we should also be able to build this hunter's hut. What is that about? Okay, hunter's hut. There we go. 
They produce leather and deer. Ooh, that's very tasty. All right, is there anything else that we have now? Iron smelter, bakery. I guess we can just build one of these. I don't know if they need a forest or something to function. That would be interesting to know. Kind of tempted to put one there, but I'm not going. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's very interesting. <laughs> these trees are just standing here. Is that... They're just on the edge of the extraction zone. I'm gonna take them out. Definitely out of the extraction zone. Oh, they look really funky cool there. Alright, let's build ourselves a hunter's hut over here. We'll build it right next to these um, lumberjack uh, chopping places. Wood chopping places. Um, the wheat farm is done. Great. Uh, let's assign three people here. All right, excellent. This is going to be great. I think, I think this other stockpile uh, is fine here. A few people were saying that they thought that this stockpile, they couldn't reach the stockpile for the um, the materials for the monastery because of this house um, but that wasn't the case they actually did make it here but once they made it here they couldn't uh couldn't complete the monastery they couldn't find a path there and so they just left the goods there um we know this because we had we have all kinds of other stuff being gathered from here and taken to the monastery so it was not a warehousing issue at all um even though these buildings kind of overlap a little bit um, but I, it was not the issue, I believe. So, ooh, this, wow, look at this. We're already uh, getting stuff going here. An envoy from the image is requesting an audience. Right, okay. Hello. Is that you? War is coming. We're prepared and we'll actually, we're not that prepared and would be happy to have some helping hands. Ideally with swords or axes. How about sending some of your troops to our aid? Um, holy fuzzy cats, look at this. So they will give us a um, thousand butter, 20 wine, and 10 um, points. Not splendor, but points, and one free territory. Okay, so this is another way to get stuff. However, I, we don't care about free territory because we have uh, nearly 5,000 butter. We could buy... How much is that? Let's see. Five... Thousand. It's cost five hundred a piece, so ten territories we could buy, but we have to pay taxes on all of them. So no, no, my soldiers only serve me. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Now that I'm not sure if I like that. To be honest, that you have to click on this guy in the middle of who knows where. Uh, I would prefer it just to be a quest at the top here. That would be easier to track for me. Um, okay, there we go. Our resource list is there. We have fifty wine. Not really sure where we're getting the wine. It could be from... Okay, windmill is done. We're gonna need more people. What do we got here? Can we buy or sell um, stuff? Oh, we can sell honey. <gasps> sell honey? Oh my god. I think we're gonna sell some honey. What is that? Planks? I was looking for selling leather because we don't... I mean, the hunter's hut is gonna generate stuff for us, but I don't know what the heck to do with it. All right, so we got deer and leather. Let's assign an available villager. We got Rupert working on it. Oh, well, I guess we can put a warehouse out here. I mean, I'm not sure where else to put it. Let's see, warehouse. Let's see. We'll just stick this over here. Shall we? All right, lots of the um, these other buildings are coming into... Uh, working order. There we go. Bakery. Alright, not enough bakers yet. That's alright. We'll get there. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to look maybe if there's something that uses those different items. Reforestation. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe it's for the weaponsmith. I'm wondering if they use like leather plus iron. That could be Aha, a house is done. Good. So we let a few people upgrade their abodes, which is turning out to be kind of a nice thing. 
Ah, but I do want to sell something. We're going to sell honey, I think. All right, so let's just do that. Budget. No, 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 no. Trade. Menu. Not menu. Excuse me. Trade. There we go. Trading resources. Honey. Yes. We want to sell um, above 20, I think. And I think that should be nice. All right, two new villagers are coming in. Excellent. Let's look at our villager list again and see who we've got. These are... Okay, so everyone is busy right now. Great. This is good. I really need the lumberjacks to cut down this forest. Uh, I might just build a new lumberjack hut out here. Let's see. Come on. Where is it? Lumber camp. There we go. There we go. Two unemployed people. All right. Let's make them make bread. Let's go. Okay. Ah, and I should get a well out here as well. Yep. Let's have a well so that the bakers don't have to travel far to get stuff. Let's put it right behind there. That'll work. Alright, warehouse is done. I really wish this was zoomed to the affected building, but it does not. Alright, we're going to have one villager here, if we can. Um, but leather and deer. really don't know. We need maybe a butcher or something? Warehouse, fisher's hut, hunter's hut. Taylor's workshop, sheep farm. I'm wondering if this is just not really um, in the game yet, or... A you know, assigned to the game or finished, coming soon kind of thing. Looks like it's sort of here, but there's nothing to do with it. Okay. Did not get any more people. Alright. Assign available villager. Yeah, that would be good. Let me just fire some people from here. One, two, three... Actually, I can delete this thing altogether. That one is kind of was a temporary one. Just kind of like this one is one. One, two, three. Now, the one thing that I'm not sure about is if you delete a structure, I don't think that the people are unassigned from the jobs. I think they're probably still lumberjacks, but they'll just be looking for other jobs. I really just want one transporter here for these items. Two new villagers are joining. Hip, hip, hooray. All right, the well is done. That's good. But I think we filled both. Oh, no, we still have one position to fill. Okay, we have to keep that in mind. Hopefully, we'll at least get some bread going on here. All right, and our keep is finished. Uh, we still have to get money to unlock the weaponsmith. 40, wow. <sighs> 40 is a lot especially at the rates we have to pay for it it's like oh my god no aha looks like we're getting some trees going on here getting stuff going this is interesting i wonder if the woods regenerate on their own i mean to some degree like if you were to harvest stuff would they regrow or do you absolutely need a forester I love this weird little forest thing that I managed to have happen. Pretty interesting. Looks like the hunter is doing something. Upkeep costs 10 butter a day. This is might be a very expensive guy to keep running over here, Rupert, um, with the hunting. So that is definitely not ideal. Okay, come on guys. Did we get our villagers yet? Yes, we did. All right, let's assign another available villager to the bakery. Um, and then what do we got here? We have this lumberjack hut. They're just assigned to clearing the trees around the farm. So hopefully the farmers can get the fields closer to where they are. Uh, right, so... I think this might be a good stopping point for the video. Um, I've been kind of looking at the game and I think there's not much else to explore, to be honest. So we might just wait until we have more content um, and that will hopefully give another playthrough. But so far, I have really enjoyed playing this game. I like the graphics style. I like a lot of things about it. There are bugs. We have seen them with the 
unable to complete stuff but we found workarounds for stuff like that too for now but remember this game is in very very early alpha but i have to say it's eminently playable a lot of fun and i just love all the details the music is gorgeous so i hope you have enjoyed this playthrough i may or may not do more episodes i'll have to see but um i just wanted to say that it's been a lot of fun so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time